So what we're going to be doing right now is a flailing demonstration. This implement here is called a flail. It's basically two sticks put together with either twine or leather strapping. The longer end is the part that you hold. The shorter end is what does the work. So when you're flailing grain, what you want to do is hit the grain as flatly as possible with the shorter stick on your flail. So what I'm going to do here is grab some of the wheat. Of course, when wheat grows, it grows on a stalk, stem just like a flower. The part that we want is inside here. That's the head of the wheat. So when I refer to the head, what I'm talking about is this part. The long part that was the stem when it's growing is now straw. So straw, we're going to use that for bedding. People would have used it also for bedding for themselves. Mattresses used to be stuffed with straw. It keeps the animals warm, basically, in the barn. When you're flailing, you want your wheat to be as dry as possible. The drier it is, the easier it's going to be to get those kernels of grain out. Ideally, we'd have a very hard surface underneath, but right now we're going to be using our tarp. We're going to hit it as hard as we can. Now, the flail has been used for thousands of years, ever since people started farming. So you'll see pictures from ancient Egypt with people using this exact same instrument to do what I'm going to do now. Flailing is what we used to do to thresh the grain. Threshing knocks all the kernels of grain. This is wheat, so it's going to knock all the wheat kernels out of the heads and allow us to pick it up. And then we'll do some winnowing to clean it before we grind it into flour. So this is how you're going to get your bread. It's extremely hard, back-breaking work. If you've ever read the story, The Little Red Hen, this is why she wants everybody to help her. So I was spinning the flail in my hands to get that flat hit. Now once I've hit the heads for a long time, what I'm going to end up with is a pile of chaff and grain that looks like this. The part that I want is the hard yellow kernels of wheat that are right in the middle there. That's what we're working for. That's what's going to make you your flour. That's what's going to give you your cream of wheat cereal. So this is what we want, this hard stuff here. What you're going to do is use a tool called a winnowing screen. Now the winnowing screen is just a screen in a round circle of wood. Scoop up your chaff and your grain. So once you've been on your barn floor, beating away at the wheat to knock all the kernels out, you're going to take it outside in the winnowing screen and try and get the breeze to blow away the chaff and part you don't want. And eventually you're going to get left with all that kernels of wheat. Hopefully the breeze is blowing the right way. And as I'm walking out, you can kind of see a bit of the chaff blowing off. So as I shake the screen, it's going to blow off more. Now the hard kernels are much heavier than the chaff. The chaff is all this stuff that we don't want. So the chaff being light will blow away on the breeze and the hard kernels are going to come back down to the screen. So gravity and the wind helps us do the work. So all the big chunks, you're going to pause once in a while and get them out. But you can see the breeze is just doing the work for me even as I'm holding it here. So the chaff is like a peel that's around the kernel. So you don't want to put the chaff through your grinder because it's going to make flour that's coarser, harder to eat. The other thing that you don't want to be putting in there is our wheat is bearded. And I know it's hard to see, but it has a little beard growing on it. So we want to get rid of that too. That's part of the chaff. Okay. So what we've got in the middle of the screen now is what we want to have in the end of this process is the clean yellow kernels of wheat. So every cake you ever eat, Every piece of bread you ever eat, your piece of toast in the morning, this is what it's come from. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this nice clean grain over to the flour mill and grind it. So now that we've cleaned the grain and got as much as the waste product, the chaff out that we don't want, we're going to take those kernels of grain and pour it into the hopper on our flour mill. So inside here, we have all the grain sitting on top. Below it is a big metal screw-like device. What that's going to do is crack the kernels of grain open and allow us to grind it into flour. So inside this machine, we have different screens. The finest screen will push through all the fine cake and pastry flour. The next screen is for stone ground wheat flour, so that's for your really whole wheat bread. The next screen is going to push through to make cream of wheat cereal. So that's like a wheat porridge. And at the bottom, the spout, comes all the really bad wasty bits. That's going to be used to feed the chickens. So there's no waste with this machine. It gives you four different grinds all at one time. So I'm going to open up the drawer so you can see how it sorts it. So again, in the first bin, we've got the softest, nicest flour. This stone ground wheat bread flour would have been used to make your everyday whole wheat bread. So we're talking the, what would be now considered the artisan type breads that are available in the store now, the ones that you pay a little bit extra for the stone ground wheat and all those really healthy option ones. The next bin is a little bit coarser still. That's that wheat porridge. So you ever heard of the Sunny Boy cereals? That's what it is, cream of wheat. So this is all the stuff you really don't want to be eating, but for chickens, it's great feed. So this machine did all four and didn't waste anything.